Say again, when do you send it out? Excellent question. We get this pretty much every group coaching call. Um, it's when you, at one point you need to get this information. So at the point you, you're pretty confident that somebody has enough intrigue and you created enough value to actually get it done. Typically, like, I mean, depends a bit on your calendar and you, the potential you see, but typically let maybe people book a call in your calendar first and they're like, thanks so much. I'm really looking forward to the call so I can prepare ideally please share two minutes of input before I'll call. Another thing I think, when you automate meeting scheduling, it's really clear for you to set a clear agenda. Like you can do that. And I mean, so many salespeople don't set proper expectations and framing in the call and you, and you can automate that, right? Every sales call that gets into my calendar or some one of my sales reps will say like, thanks so much for taking the time and bring any questions to make a commitment on the call or set schedule a decision call. So just to get the general status quo, objectives, challenges. Second point, like discuss how we can solve this, um, discuss collaboration models. Third point, like thing, outline next steps, thanks for your time, happy setting. This is automatically done. But this, this is this is how this call is gonna go regarding the taking control part. Mm -hmm. The last thing uh, you mentioned, confidence. And I mean, getting a word by word sales script can really help you with that because then you, you basically have always something to get back to. And um, it will always happen that somewhere, somehow in this eight step process, typically this is for a 45 minute sales conversation in the structure, somebody will put you off. 